Hi, my name is Melanie Jackson, and I write mystery novels for ages 10 to 14. With thanks to the BC Teacher Librarians Association, I'm going to share a few of my writing tips with you. First of all, what I need to get going with the story are two things, and protagonist is one, my main character. So let's say he's a nice guy, um, I'm sort of getting into his mind, imagining his life. So a nice guy, but he can't just be a nice guy. He has to have an interest in life. So say maybe in one of my books, my protagonist loved to play baseball. In the book I read for the BCTLA, uh, the TikTok terror, the protagonist is a climber. So some interest, some passion, if you will. Um, so that helps round out his character, but to make him even more interesting, I give the protagonist a flaw. A flaw could be impatience or maybe making jokes and being sarcastic and hurting people's feelings. Or maybe the protagonist just gets really angry and steams up very easily. So he has to have a flaw, he or she. Now, the other thing I have to do to get my story going in my mind is to have a setting. So maybe it's compatible with the protagonist's interests in TikTok terror. He's a climber, so he spends his time at a climbing gym. The other setting is um, uh, in Playland. It's a big ride dedicated to Edgar Allan Poe that he climbs, even though he's not supposed to. In another of my books, the setting was a roller coaster. So that was exciting, but of course I had the climax. Something terrible happened. If you had a roller coaster setting, you could, for example, well, have one of the cars fly off. <coughs> I hope you enjoy writing. Once I have the protagonist and the setting, I do find the story flows very well.